This video is brought to you by Farm Alls Forever. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video. Today we're going to take a look at the bakery here at the farm. Who doesn't like a nice, fresh loaf of baked bread? Well, apparently the folks here at Hoff Bergman love bread and love to sell it to various folks around town. So we have our own bakery right here on the farm. So in order to make our bread, we have to first make dough, and then we have to fire it here in our wood-fired oven. It's pretty cool. So over here at our mixer, you're gonna see that we need water, rye flour, yeast, to get bread dough. So let's talk about rye flour. Where do we get rye flour from? Well, we get it no other place than back here at the grain mill. So here at the grain mill, we need to dump rye into this side area and we will get rye flour. We go over here to this particular gentleman and you'll see that he takes rye and produces rye flour. So this may look familiar. This is the same area that we dumped wheat in in order to get whole grain. So if we go to this gentleman, you'll see that wheat, barley, oats make whole grain, but rye is conspicuously missing from that list. Well, that is because rye is used to make rye flour. So let's go ahead and dump our rye on in. You see we already have some rye flour bags mixed up. We'll come over here to this guy and you'll see that we take 12,000 liters of rye that maxes mount this particular facility. And it will make up to eight bags of rye flour at 250 liters each. Let me just pick that up with our hand and take it over here to our truck. Go ahead and just put another bag on here. Strap it down. And then we will bring this back to the farm. And once we get back to the farm, we'll talk about where do we get our yeast from. So we can get our yeast directly from the farm shop or from the vehicle shop, go to objects and then consumer goods. You're gonna see we can buy a box of yeast for $25, looks like this. So I happen to have already purchased four boxes of that. And we're also gonna need firewood sacks because this is how we're gonna fire our wood fired oven. So these are 200 liters a piece, and I've already gotten four bags of those. We walk up here to our wood-fired oven. You're going to see that it's going to accept wood chips or firewood. We do have firewood bags, but we could also make our own bags of wood chips. Now, if you remember, when we talked about wood shavings, we know that we can come down here to the carpentry shop. And we can basically get wood shavings out of the first trigger that is located about here. Well, we can also get wood chips out of this second trigger, which is located right there. So we're going to go ahead and take this back to the farm because we're going to use our small bag maker to make us some bags of wood chips. Now, I didn't see how much that cost us for a thousand liters of wood chips, but I will go ahead and put that up on the screen right now in host production. See so if you remember, we basically pour wood chips into our bagging master here. Let's 
This will take, I think, 3,000 liters of product. We'll come up here to the front of our bagging master. We will basically enable bagging mode with E and then B to enable pallet creation. Go get this out of the way. And now we are making our own bags of wood chips. Now, let me show you this. This is a little trick that I absolutely love about easy development controls. If we go in here and we turn super strength on, and then we basically look at something, we can hit delete and make it go away. So we'll just get rid of that because that is a leftover. And now we have ourselves 200 liters of wood chips. And what's really cool is we can store that right here. So our wood chips or wood firewood sacks can be stored over here in this little rack just outside of the bakery. So here are our four bags of wood chips that we've already gotten from the shop. So we can store those over here in this rack also. Just check it on over there. So we can either buy these or, again, buy the wood chips in bulk. And we have the bagging master. We can make our own. Make our own bags. Just like so. And just like we have wood chips and firewood storage, we also have storage inside of here for our yeast packets and our flour sacks so we've got four boxes of yeast enough to make a fair bit of bread let's take it over here and boom it goes into the rack And we'll do the same with our flower bags. Now with our yeast and flour stored, let's talk about where we get our water. So we got our bucket and we got a little bit of a sink here. So we just... Do the deed, like so. Fill this up with water. We'll put our 100 liters of water into our, our 100 units of water into our mixer. Let's get out one box of yeast. And we will put a little bit of this into our mixer. We put 100 liters, so each box is going to make 10 batches. Let's go ahead and get out our rye flour, one bag. 250 liters, and we're going to use 100 liters of our flour. I like how the bag shrinks up. That's so cool. And we'll put that back in storage. And again, the way these storage units work is they are last in, first out. So if we eject our yeast, okay, we're going to get the one with 90 liters in it, or 900 liters. So that way we can use up one box or one bag at a time. So we're going to come over here and we're going to turn our mixer on with the I key. And at this point, it's going to start mixing up dough. And we're going to get 10 little loaves of dough. And they are going to appear over here on this table. Now, what we need to do is prep our oven. So we come over here to the side. 
and we just left click to open the doors left click to close the doors now we're going to come over here and squat down and left click to open the combustion chamber and we need to put basically wood chips in there or firewood let's go ahead and get that out of the rack so we get one bag of wood chips or one bag of firewood sorry pick that up it's 200 liters And you can see we have 67%. So we can go put some more in there. So now we have 300 liters of chips in there. We can chuck our half-used bag back into the rack. And we'll just go ahead and speed up time and watch our loaves pop in. There we go. So we have 300 liters of loaves. And now we have to basically put them into our oven. We'll pick these up, 30 liters a piece. And this in previous versions of, of this map has been a little sketchy. So sometimes it's a little touchy. We just wanna walk up to the front of this and basically put it in the top one. Like so. We would just complete this process. So you can see we have 300 liters of bread dough or 10 loaves of bread in the top. We want to go ahead and close that. We want to close the combustion chamber. We'll turn on the oven and we get a nice glow effect going on. If we do open the combustion chamber, we can see we have a nice fire going on nice and toasty so again we will just speed up time a wee little bit we got a nice led readout up there at the top telling us the percent done And there we go. It's now 8 p.m. I think it took about four hours to bake our bread. Wow, low and slow. Low and slow, they say. Now we will open up our oven and magically, magically, the baked bread is now in the bottom. So we'll go in here and we will pick up our bread. Just put it over here on the cooling rack just for role play sake and sometimes it can be a little difficult to grab especially if you have the little dot turned off so we'll do that and interesting enough we get two storage totes that we can put our bread into. So we can just drop it in there. We'll just continue to put bread loaves into this bread box. Actually, I'm curious. I wonder if we can cheat the process. 
doing it this way. Nope. Farmer Andy won't let us cheat the process. More grab the loaves out of the oven. And put them in the totes. So I've gone ahead and just fast forward into morning. If we go back here to our store and go to objects, and go to crates, and we can buy more of these bread boxes, should we so wish. They hold 480 liters of bread, basically eight loaves of bread. So we've got eight loaves there. We've got our two leftover loaves there. And just like so many other commodities that we can make here, on Hoff Bergman, we can sell our bread at the bakery. But again, they only take deliveries between midnight and 4 a.m. We can take our bread down to the church, the farm shop, the inn, the village shop, or the eight villager houses. So I think for fun, let's go ahead and take this over to. The church. I hear they're going to be having a meal later, and uh, well, they need some bread. And here we are down at the church grounds, and maybe we are committing some sort of sacrilege by driving here onto the church grounds, but at any rate, We've got our bread. We come over here to the priest around back. And there we go. Now, of course, these are reusable totes. So we get our tote back. If you're not careful, you can transfer bread between totes. There we go. So guys, that is the process of basically making bread here on Hoff Bergman. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this bread making process? If you've got questions about anything else that we have not yet covered on Hoff Bergman Explained, please go ahead and put that in the comments. Let me know what else you are interested in learning about here on Hoff Bergman. We've got all kinds of things still scheduled up to go. I think in the next video, we're going to talk about honeybees and what we can do with respect to honeybees. And then I think the following video, we're going to talk about apples and pears, fruit juices, and wine. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss those videos. And until next time, happy farming.